Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Code with Ease by Varsha. We are doing Code Java interview series. These are the questions that we have already covered. So, so today's question is, what is the difference between fail fast and fail safe iterators? Before we try to understand the difference, so two things we have to understand. First is what is the iterator and then concurrent modification exception. Iterator is an interface using which we try to traverse through a given collection. Like you have a collection of different objects, maybe you have five integers. How would you traverse? We, use, we say we use a loop. In Java, there is an iterator interface that we use. For loop internally will anyway implement your iterator only. So basically we want to iterate or traverse through all the elements and do whatever we want to do, whether we want to print out or do some logic. So there are two types of iterator which has come out of it. So that is what we are going to discuss. The difference between those is most important. And the next thing is concurrent modification exceptions. So this exception is thrown whenever. So there's a collection that we are trying to traverse over. But while traversing, if we try to change update or add or remove any element from that collection this exception is being thrown okay so what we are going to learn from this is we will understand the difference between these two type of iterators we will understand when this con concurrent except we will understand when the concurrent modification exception is being thrown we'll also learn about what are the thread safe collections now what is a fail fast iterator as as the name suggests it will fail fast as soon as you change something it is going to fail so that is what it says it will immediately throw this exception concurrent modification exception if there is a structural modification what is a structural modification same thing we are making some changes you are adding removing updating the value of the same collection over which you are iterating so there is one thread which is iterating over the collection the other thread is trying to manipulate anything in the collection but that is not allowed and that is why it will immediately throw an exception and the and it will terminate so why does it happen because fail fast iterator uses the original collection so whatever collection you have you're traversing over this the same collection only you are modifying so it will sense there is a change in the collection and then it, it actually uses something called the mod count we will see that so it will sense there is a change in that and that is why it will throw an exception the examples where we can see fail fast iterator most common are array list and hash map. You will see a quote demo also. And the next is fail safe iterator. So, as the name suggests, it will not throw the exception, just completely opposite. If during the iteration we are trying to make any changes, it will not throw. Why it will not throw? Because it uses a copy of the collection. So, there is the original collection is there and there is a copy of that. When it is trying to traverse, it will traverse over the copy. So, even if you modify anything in the original collection, it will not get reflected. So, hence it is not going to throw the exception. One important thing to understand is there is no word called fail safe iterator. Rather, it is called non fail fast. But non fail fast, we colloquially we say it is fail safe but in java documentation there is nothing called fail safe iterator it can be something like fail fast versus non fail fast iterator that can also happen uh, what is the disadvantage of fail safe they require more memory obviously if you are using a clone like if you are using a copy of your collection you need some extra memory to make a copy of the collection then you have to traverse over it the examples of fail safe is concurrent hash map and copy on write array list. We are also going to see that in the code demo. So, this is what I was talking about that these will be the thread safe collections. Concurrent hash map, copy on write array list. Why they are thread safe? Because they are fail safe iterators. They, they, have these iterators, they have these iterators in place so that even if it is modified, structural modification is done while traversing, it will not be affected. So now let's move to the ID to see a code demo of this. Now let's take a look at the code to understand the differences between these. So we have taken an array list of fruits where we have added a couple of fruits. Now we are going to use an iterator to traverse over the collection of our fruits. So I can just say list dot iterator. Sorry, fruits dot iterator. Now I'll use this while loop where I'll say while iterator dot has next. So while we have what what is it going to print? We are going to take a variable to say fruit equal to iterator dot next. So it will print iterator. So what it will do is it is going to print every it is going to traverse through the collection and try to print every fruit that it has. Okay. And now let's try to run this. So we are able to print all the fruits. Now let's say while I'm traversing, after printing, I'll say I want to modify this fruits and I'll say fruits dot remove. I want to remove orange while it is traversing. So now let's try to run this. 
we are able to print only apple and not even banana. So the moment we printed apple, after printing apple, we are saying we are calling this remove. And that is what is showing the concurrent modification exception. If you take a look at the array list class and see the iterator over here, it says it returns an iterator over the elements, in, but the return iterator is fail first. What it does is it does this in the line number 851. It checks the mod count. So that it is keeping a track of whether the element, if anything, in the original collection has been modified or not. Okay. So that is what it is doing. It is going to check for co modification. If you take a look at this, it will say if mod count is not equal to expected mod count, means when we are trying to change anything in the in the collection, this mod count variable is updated. If mod count is updated, it is going to throw concurrent modification exception. In this case, what we did is we tried to remove the element, right? So if I check the remove method. You see in line number 500, it is doing mod count plus plus. So the thing is, whenever we are trying to do any kind of CRUD operation, it is trying to modify the mod count. And because of this is why we are getting the concurrent modification exception because of the check that we have seen. In So that is what we are checking over here in this method. If it is not equal, it will throw the con. So now we have understood from the ground level why in array list when we are why array list is supposed to return fail first iterator why the concurrent modification exception is actually happening okay so now how do we get over this what can we do to make sure that it doesn't throw the concurrent modification exception for that what we will do is we'll use this different class called copy on write array list which comes from the java.util.concurrent package okay so now java.util.concurrent package talks about or includes classes which have the thread safety inbuilt in them. So I don't want to go in detail about the java.util.concurrent package, but that is what we were talking about when we meant thread safe implementations, copy on write array list, concurrent hash map. So these can guarantee that even if there is a structural modification, it will not throw the concurrent modification exception. So let's try to run this now. No error, even if we try to remove. Let's say I want to add something. Uh, let's say I want to add pineapple. Although I cannot add it uh, inside of a loop, I can just say that if, like, I can just say that if it doesn't contain pineapple already, then only you add because it's a loop. Otherwise, in every iteration, it is going to simply add pineapple at the end of the list. So now we have modified it again. Let's run this. You see two things. First, what we said that it is using a copy of the collection. That is why it is not able to print the pineapple. But if I try to print my list, if I just try to print my list, I will be able to print all the elements. But the iterator is not printing because it is using a copy. In the copy, I have only three fruits. While the loop is happening, I am modifying my original list. So that is why in the original list, I will be able to get pineapple, but not when the iterator is happening. So this is the difference between fail fast iterator and non fail fast or fail safe iterators with an example. So thank you so much. See you guys on the next video.